In the old days, ice were being conducted in the following fashion. First of all, the user went ahead to ask what is my IP or to get a relay. This was done in front of stun and turn servers. These messages are there in order to collect the actual IP addresses that we are going to use through the ICE negotiation process. It then got the results, sent out the offer to the other side. The other user would then go and do the same, get the IP address, the public IP address through Stan and get relay IP addresses from the turn servers. Getting the results, they now have addresses in both sides, he sends his answer, and now they can commence the connectivity checks. Now what we have here is a lot of wasted time. That's because we could have done that earlier, which is done for example in SIPsoft phones because we can, but we can't do it inside browsers because with browsers whenever I open a new tab or a new context, I need to do this all over again. So what do we do to shorten this period of time and not waste any more time than we need? We use Trickalyze. In Trickalyze what we do is we collect the candidates in parallel to doing the conductivity checks. So when we start, we go and send the offer, while at the same time going and checking with the stun and turn servers our IP addresses. We get the answer from the other side immediately, and he then goes and asks the same things from his stun and turn servers. But connectivity checks start immediately by using the local IP addresses, and then whenever we have a new address, we simply go and report that over an or nice candidate message. So we can add these iced candidates along the way. This shortens up the time that it takes to conduct ice connectivity checks. This mechanism is called trickle ice because we're trickling the candidates from the beginning of the session until we get connected. If you want to learn more, check webrtcglossary.com or go and look at my training courses at webrtccourse.com. Thank you.